Welcome back folks to a brand new video. The iconic high-rise skylines of Dubai and Abu Dhabi and the beautiful long sandy beaches have all made the Emirates a very popular destination. But if it's your first time visiting, this will help you on your way. So let's take a look at 10 beautiful places to visit in the Emirates. And before you even watch this video, don't forget to hit that like button because it is free. Palm Jumeirah. Palm Jumeirah is shaped like a palm tree when viewed from above. Built on reclaimed land and resembling a series of man-made archipelagos. No steel, no concrete was used in creating the Palm Jumeirah, which comprises of a whopping 120 million cubic meters of sand, all brought from the seabed. So this island has some of Dubai's top luxury resorts, so it's a great location for your first holiday. And to get a better feel from the area, you can sail around Palm Jumeirah in a yacht or a speedboat. But I prefer the cheaper option, which is to board the Palm Monorail that passes all the way through the Atlantis Resort. Also, you have The Point, which is a scenic relaxing marina with more than 80 restaurants, shops and attractions. And this is set right at the tip of the world famous Palm Jumeirah across the bay from the Atlantis. So this is easily one of the best waterfront locations that you can get in Dubai. Burj Khalifa A wonderful skyscraper located in Dubai. It's the tallest building in the world, standing at 828 meters and it opened in 2010. So it's become an iconic symbol of Dubai and a major tourist attraction that you have to see. There's an observation deck on the 124th floor, offering panoramic views of the city and the surrounding desert. And just on ground level you have Burj Park, which is contained on a little island alongside the Burj Lake or the Dubai Fountain Lake. So you'll get to see wonderful views from ground level and obviously from Burj Khalifa from the top. Emirates Palace Abu Dhabi has no shortage of hotels and attractions for visitors coming to stay in the capital. However, this Emirates Crown Jewel definitely has to be the Emirates Palace Hotel. Now I've worked here, and let me tell you, it is ridiculously beautiful. Known as the third most expensive hotel in the world to build, it cost approximately three billion to construct. Now it's a good idea to schedule your Emirate Palace visit on a weekday. Number four, Dubai Creek and Souk. During a one-day tour of Dubai, start at the beginning, Old Dubai. The traditional gold and spice souks, and souk meaning market in Arabic, are only a 15-minute drive from the airport. This is a great opportunity to better understand what Dubai was like before the city boomed, and to get lots of high-quality spices, and maybe even gold. Here, visitors can also get the opportunity to cross the creek, a natural stream of sea that goes from the city via Abra, on a sort of traditional boat taxi. But take time to wander, have a coffee, soak in the atmosphere, and don't be afraid to haggle, because bargaining is an integral part of the theatre. Now this is a really interesting place to visit in Dubai. The Museum of the Future is a new tourist attraction and is 
considered amongst the world's most beautiful buildings. Located on Sheikh Zayed Road, which is the city's main highway, the museum is a seven-story hollow structure, designed from stainless steel and inscribed with Arabic calligraphy quotes. So the museum will take you on a very experiential journey to the year 2071, which corresponds with the centenary year of the country's founding. So there will be various futuristic experiences using AI and the latest tech, virtual and augmented reality, so don't miss out on this one. Now, although this is one of the most popular tourist tours in Dubai, desert safaris are a singular experience. Safaris can give you an insight into what life was like in the UAE, before all the skyscrapers and the mega projects. The tour consists of dune bashing, so don't eat too much food before hopping in the car, trust me. You can then watch sunsets from the desert and are finally taken to a replica Bedouin camp where you can watch belly dancing shows, eat a ton of traditional Arabic barbecue, and you can even try on some traditional Emirati dress. So this is a perfect day out if you want to try one of these events. Dubai's Miracle Garden. This is one of the most stunning attractions in Dubai, and every year, tons of visitors head right here to take in the super sites. The 72,000 square meter flower park hosts more than 150 million flowers, and that's more than 120 different varieties. So it's a bucket list spot for anyone, residents and tourists alike. It's also the largest natural flower garden in the world, and some of the flowers have never been cultivated in the region before, as you can imagine being a desert country. So the biggest highlight is the Hearts Passage, which is definitely worth the entry fee alone, which is roughly around 10 to 12 dollars, but go up as high as 20, just in case. Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque. There is no shortage of mosques in the United Arab Emirates. However, there is one mosque that stands out when compared to the rest. One of the eight largest in the world and is impressive not only for its size, but it's for its architecture. With marble walls, intricate stonework, and crystal chandeliers, this mosque is truly jaw-droppingly beautiful. Every tourist should feast their eyes on this beautiful symbol of Islam when they visit the Emirates. Now Dubai has plenty of beaches, and two which I would recommend that you check out are Kite Beach and Lemur Beach. The first is an idyllic spot for kite surfers in Dubai, and the beach boasts spectacular views of the Arabian Gulf. So this area is perfect for those of you who want to rent kayaks and paddleboards, because the exposed beach is windy and popular with kite surfers and kite flyers. The sand here is also a bit coarser than any other beach, with many shells mixed in. And the other beach is La Mer Beach, which is another popular area with long, long stretches of sand, and the waterfront area is nestled amongst towering palm trees. There are plenty and plenty of places to eat, and you can try amazing food from all the way around the world, such as charcoal barbecue and grill, which I hope is still there. But there's also a water park where you can cool off from the heat, and if you want to get off the beach for a while and watch a movie, there's a cinema right there.
Now, while you're on holiday in Dubai, if you do have time, there's another area of Dubai which I highly recommend. It's called the Al Vahidi Quarter, and it's the last remaining fragment of old Dubai, and it shouldn't be missed. This small heritage area really shows the simpler and more gentler parts of the city, way before the skyscrapers took over the skyline. The neighbourhoods are lined with carefully restored traditional buildings in the typical Arabian architectural styles, and many with the wind tower features, which is what kept houses cool before air conditioning became so common. So if you do get the chance, try and visit this wonderful place. It also has a fort. And there you have it folks, just a few of the many things you can do in the Emirates. For those of you who do like the video, don't forget to give that a thumbs up. And for other destinations around the world, check out the playlist. I'm sure you'll find a country you're interested in.